Hello everyone, this is Fridge Cam. We're Sorted, and this week we launched the Sorted Club. Now hold on, because we haven't told you what that is yet. This is one place where you can get books, Pow. supper clubs, Pow. podcasts, Pow. courses, Pow. and maybe even help us create a pub. Oh, and it's all going to be hosted on our brand new website with the same old address, sortedfood.com. We need your help to get this started, so go downstairs, follow the link, and sign up now. Now, in order to celebrate our sorted club, here is the ultimate gourmet club sandwich. Club means that everybody's voice has to be heard. Take as many suggestions as you possibly can from the community and we'll put it in a sandwich. Chicken and egg and BLT. I don't think egg goes into a club. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it does. Egg always goes into a club. Another point of contention, are we going chicken or turkey? Chicken. Joanna says remoulade instead of mayo. Chicken, egg, crisps. Yes. I'll get the sous vide machine out and the water bath and we'll perfectly poach some chicken. Bread and weird mayo. Salad. Tomatoes and lettuce. Well. Gonna this, this, well. That's where it could go wrong. I'm going to focus on bacon and other meats. It feels like maybe you and I are the wrong way round. <laughs> right, we've got two hours. We need to do some shopping. Let's go. We hadn't made any decisions on sides, so I've opted for chips and spiralised crispy bits. So I'm at Smithfield Market, which is London's largest wholesale meat market. So I should find some decent meat here. Only problem is, I think it closed a while ago. So I had to find a butcher on the outskirts somewhere. Right, chicken for Evers. He wanted breast. Well, what if we got some turkey as well? Turkey is a classic filling in a it is. sandwich. Ben's getting on. I'm sure he's doing very well. I'm sure he's got everything on the go. Nothing less than the finest ingredients for our chicken, aka what's left in the fridge. Rosemary, sage, lemon and garlic. We bought the shop and then we bought some more. My thinking is if we can't decide between chicken and turkey, chicken and turkey. You forgot these? Yeah. Uh, you know how sometimes you get a little bit hungry when you're making a sandwich? I thought why not let's buy some snacking pigs in blankets. Chicken ready to be cooked, sous vide, and then water bath to about 63 degrees Celsius. That machine vacuum pack seals in all the flavor, all our herbs. Now we can cook it in a water bath at 63 degrees for about an hour. So I'm in charge of tomatoes and lettuce. Let's start with the tomatoes. We've gone for the nicest on the vine cherry tomatoes that I could find. These are distinctive. These are intensively sweet. We're gonna make them sweeter. Honey, oil, salt, pepper, garlic in a bowl and then smothered all over the top of the tomatoes, roasted in an oven for 30 minutes. Ah, mm. Mid-March, Jamie's brought back a tray of Christmas. Roast turkey and pigs in blankets going into the oven. So all I'm gonna do with the bread is toast it in a pan with butter. Press it down so it's nice and thin. So we've got thick slices, but we're gonna press it down so it's like thin, crispy slices. To egg or not to egg, I put it to the community and then I boiled six eggs while I was waiting for the response. <laughs> Preeti says not to egg. Brona says no egg. Sean's not convinced either, says it depends. I love a contingency. <laughs> we've got one hour left, Barry hasn't even returned. So uh, Ben said before I left, he goes, make sure you get good bacon, but just bacon. Don't, don't go all fancy. A proper club sandwich has chicken and bacon in there. I've stuffed the brief, but I have got a ton of bacon and some beautiful gammon, and it's the best stuff you can buy. Look, he's branching out. Oh, good effort, Jay. I've gone all in on the salad. So we've got some just round lettuce. That's for flavor. We've got some beautiful gem lettuce, that's going to be for crunch. And then, James and I had a discussion about chicory for colour and bitterness. Jay, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Also, we didn't really come to a decision about cheese, and if we were doing cheese, who was in charge of cheese? So we got some manchego just in case. Egg yolks and Dijon mustard mixed together. Oil goes in slowly while I whisk, and it should thicken up to a mayo. How long have you been? Hold that. 
did you get all of the evidence? Hey, this is a club. It's me to share. I went to get butter out of the fridge and I, I accidentally picked up lard. And now I'm wondering if I can fry my chicory in lard. Chick you're cooking chicory in lard? What's better than butter? <laughs> it depends what you're cooking. Your chicory. I'm making my glaze, my bacon. I've got some honey, some cayenne, oregano. Guys, we've got half an hour to finish this sandwich. Yeah? I'm good. We're gonna have a group taste thing of this chicory, is that okay? That yeah, that's absolutely fine. I mean, the final decision must be great. So. James, can you find another? Yeah. Chicory marker two. Is Ben looking? <coughs> no. Okay, so I've added paprika to my mayo. I'm about to add a little bit of curry powder. Um, some pickled gherkin, you know, like a pickle lily type, type of thing. Some anchovy for saltiness. We're just gonna see what it tastes like. My gammon's frying now in the pan. Won't need long on either side. Boys, what do we think about red onion in our sandwich? Uh, salad department says no. I've started construction. Maybe should have taken these off the vine earlier. Larry, your bacon. You checked on that about two about a minute ago. I'm not taking responsibility for bacon today. I'm I am oh, the salad king. Yeah. Wish you had scratch and sniff. This chicken smells incredible. Times like this, I realise how much I love Sorted and everything that we do, because this is unbelievable. So times like this, I realise how much I love sandwiches. Oh, that might be the best thing we've ever done. So despite my interpretation, apparently this can feed 10. <gasps> oh my goodness, that looks so good. That's Show a really the camera good that. cross section. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's a vegetarian and James has been very kind to give up his vegetarian part of his sandwich. <laughs> It's amazing. Words, I can't, they're not coming. <laughs> Three different types of lettuce. I just, what an unbelievable sandwich. I'm gonna do a shower after this. The lettuce is amazing. <laughs> Talk to me about the tomatoes though. Could be better. It's a messy sandwich, a deliciously messy sandwich. That is a pretty decent start to the club, I reckon. Club sandwich, sorted. Wait, if we're all here, we all have to say it, surely. No, I two left the bread no, come before, on. Come on. I left now the bread that before. is a club sandwich. Sorted. All right. The window to sign up to the club is open right now, but it closes on the 4th of April and there are only 1,500 spots available. Oh, it's so limited. <laughs> Honestly, the reaction so far has been amazing and we're really excited by this, so go check it out. Talking about checking things out, how about a dad joke of the week? Tell me, Barry, what do you think vegetarian zombies eat? Go on, Jamie. Grains! Because it's like brains, but... Is that it? That's, that's as good as it gets. Brains have got meat, so...